Wow. Why everybody looks so scared? <laughs> so uh, before we start, uh, before I tell you who I am and what am I doing here, we're going to do a little quick, quick test. Uh, uh, you, you're, stand you're standing right next to the microphone. Can you stand up? Next to the microphone, yeah? And you, can, you, can you say out loud to the microphone your first name? J. You are correct. <laughs> J, it's like a J-A-Y? I. I. So J, A, like this? Yeah. Okay. Um, can you, take, you can take the microphone. Uh, I'm just going to write a little message for you before we start this program. Um, okay. Jay, if I would ask you right now to tell us a two-digit number, what would you say? Can you say something? 50. 50? Yeah. Just why? Just randomly? I wrote here, Jay will say 50. Can you see this, Jay? Jay will say 50. Can you say 50? Jay will say 50. Now, Jay, the question is, why did Jay say 50? Did I influence your mind, Jay? Did you think of a number that you want to change your mind to 50 the last second? No. You immediately had 50? So did I uh, influence your mind? No. Maybe I read your mind? Maybe it's the $100 he got before the show? <laughs> no, there's nothing like that. You can sit down, give him a big round of applause. Let's start. <laughs> let's, um, let's start to have some fun. Um, my name is Leo Suchard. I'm a mentalist. I'm going to explain to you what's a mentalist now, but we'll play a little bit with, uh, between you. I'm just going to go, every time I go into audiences, everybody goes like, no, don't choose me, please. <laughs> it's very important. So it'll be nice. Uh, let's just do something crazy. I, I will go to the cheap seats, okay, over there. <laughs> so it's easier for you to see. Don't be scared. Don't scare what this is going to do for fun. Let's go. You know what? I will ask all of you a question. I know that you all, uh, who is here at 14 years old? Raise your hand, 14. 14, yeah. Uh, 15? 16? 17. Ah, okay, I want 17. Uh, why ask 17? Who else? You also? Uh, do you remember, uh, you have a boyfriend, by the way? <laughs> no, I, I, I married, but listen. <laughs> um, do you remember the name of your first love? Like, first crush, first guy you ever... Yeah? You, know, you don't have to tell me, because this is... A, who, who remembers the first crush, first love? The, the kid doesn't know because it hasn't happened yet, right? But, but uh, yours is um, uh, uh, dad and mom. But you remember yours? Yes? You remember your, what, what is your name? Alex. Alex. Can you join me on the stage? Give Alex a big one of applause. Alex, come over here for a second. We, we're going to play some... Uh, we're going we're gonna to do some, uh, some tricks on your mind, Alex. So come over here. Stand next to the microphone. I think this will be your height. Come over here and say hello. Hello. Good. A bit like this. Okay. Before we do this test, uh, Alex, are you afraid of me? I never met you before. I've been saying hi a little bit. Okay. But are you afraid of me? Are you afraid of me? A little bit? Soon you will be more. <laughs> <laughs> no worry. Here's the test. So I was talking about uh, first love. You are 17, you said. Mm -hmm. So the first love was about what age? Uh, 12, 11, 12. 12. So not, okay. <laughs> now let me ask you a question. Uh, and this is a very important question for the audience. Um, did you tell me the name of your first love? No. No. Um, another question. Did you whisper the name in my ear before the show? No, no. No, no. no. Uh, uh, did I pay you lots of lots of money to say no all the time? Not yet. Not yet? I tried? <laughs> Maybe it will work. No, but I want to make something clear. This is a fair experiment, correct? We didn't set it up or did it? Okay. No, nothing. No. Now, is there anybody here? There's about 100 and some, 150 people over here. Does anybody here know the name of your first love? My brother, maybe? Where's your brother? Where's your brother? Do you know? No. <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know. So here's the, here's the experiment, Alex. Here's the thing. I'm going to write it over here. And I want you to say to the microphone and repeat what I tell you right now. Okay. Say, Lior. 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 You don't have a chance. You don't have a chance. To guess my first love. To guess my first love. It's, it's more like it's a crush, no? Something like that? Kind of. Okay. You are going to be in shock. You don't have to say that, by the way. I'm just <laughs> telling them. Okay. So, um, this is a fair experiment. Are you ready? You were 12 years old. No? One second. One second. One second. <laughs> um, because people think that mind reading is something very, very easy to do. It's very, very difficult. And it's not that I hear minds, it's a psychological thing. Um, we know it's a, 
Can you think of the number of letters in your name? Don't say, just think. Oh, there you go, five. Yes? I got five too. <laughs> Do you believe in coincidence? Hmm? Coincidence not necessarily, does not prove causality. Look at you! <laughs> I took statistics. Uh, you did statistics. Oh, so one of those. Okay, okay, okay. So, is there any way in the world that anybody here could tell me the name? Yes or no? I don't think so. Okay, close your eyes, close your eyes. Okay, I'm just going to go and do it very fast. If I, if I make this right, uh, the audience will start applauding spontaneously. <laughs> make sure it's spontaneous, okay? So, I'm just going to make sure this is fair. Uh, you were 12 years old, Alex? Yeah? Uh, how do you feel? You can open your eyes right now. Do you feel okay? Hmm? A little nervous. I, I feel you, I feel you. But this is a fair experiment, correct, Alex? Yes. Can you tell them for the first time you were 12 years old, what was the name of uh, your first uh, love, first rush? Tell them the name. Uh, Irene. <laughs> Alex, look over here. Uh, I wrote Irene. I wrote Irene. Thank you, Alex. You can go back to your seat. Give him a big round of applause. Um, okay. So, we're going to put this here. Uh, Alex, Alex, give him a glass of water. Do you want, <laughs> do you want her phone number? No. Okay. So, uh, raise your hands if you want me to tell you how I did that. 100%. 100%. Even the people outside are raising their hands right now. Um, uh, okay, and that's what we call curiosity, right? You see something unbelievable, you see something amazing, and you want to know how it's done. You really want to know how it's done. Now, I'm also curious, but in a, a little different way, uh, what we call here uh, relentless curiosity. I am a mentalist, I'm a mind reader. This means that I'm not going to tell you exactly what I do, but let's just say that I, I know how the mind works. I know how to how you behave, I know how you think, and I know how to manipulate your minds a little bit. And during the performance here, the lecture, you can ask me any question you want, except how did you do it. <laughs> so, um, what is a mentalist? Read minds, influence people, know things, relentless curiosity. The reason why I have relentless curiosity is because that nobody teaches what I do. You, can lear you cannot learn this in, in school, in university. There's no... Uh, <laughs> PhD in mind reading, although uh, I think it would be amazing if it would be PhD in mind reading, but there's no. All I, I was doing, I learned by myself. I learned to do it, I learned to practice, I practice it more and more and more and more, and the stuff that I'm expert, I do it alone. But, you know, it's important to learn the university, it's important to, to learn and, 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 and develop your skills, but everything we learn, I have a lot of uh, uh, professors, friends, doctor friends, but everything that we learn, it just, that's why I believe, it's a little, little bit, little bit of our unused potential of, of the brain. Okay, there's so many things we can do with the mind. I mean, you, you've, you've seen lots of, lots of lectures, and we'll, we'll talk about it in a second. All the things we learn, it's really, really, really a small part of what I do. Now, um, let's talk about positive thinking, because I was invited here for TED to talk about power of the mind and positive thinking. Now, power of the mind is the easy part. I just show some cool tricks. Everybody like, ah, ah, and, uh, and that's it. But uh, speaking of uh, positive thinking, it's a little uh, difficult to explain this because everybody looks at it in a different way. And I really think that most people, 90% of the people, look at it in a very uh, wrong way. Wrong way, and i tell you why. We look at it in a, in a non-rational way. Okay, everybody knows positive thinking, you heard about it, positive think, positive think, positive. Uh, it's very important, but everybody knows it's important, but no, nobody does anything uh, with it. The best example I know is imagine a doctor, a surgeon, who, you know, helps to, uh, to cure somebody from uh, cancer, and then they finish the surgery, they go outside, they smoke. <laughs> right? I mean, they know it's bad for them, they just did the whole thing about somebody who smoked, so why do they do it? Why, why, why do they uh, keep doing all this stuff? For me, positive thinking is not what I explained to you. Positive, positive thinking is a state of mind that makes you do the things that you want to do and make you prepare for the things that you want to accomplish in life. Okay? In a few minutes, I will explain to you something very, very cool 
which will be, I, uh, at the beginning of the presentation, you said reading the mind like reading a newspaper. I brought some newspapers here uh, to read. And the next uh, test that we're going to do in a few minutes, I believe that the probability, probability to guess a word that will be chosen from these newspapers will be, sorry about the handwriting, uh, will be 3 million, 100,000, and 31, you'll know why I'm doing like this, 730, let's do it like this, 8. Okay, and you'll know why in a second, why 3,131,738 will be the probability to guess something from over there, and I will explain how I do it. So, state of mind. How can I teach you to be in this state of mind of positive thinking? Okay, let's see. Our brain, I can talk so much about our brain. Our brain is an amazing, amazing machine. Incredible machine, but there are very, very way, uh, a lot of ways to uh, manipulate it, to trick it. Um, and if we know how to trick it and manipulate it, why don't we manipulate it for good? Okay? We all know that reality, well, I don't know if you know, reality creates um, a manipulation in the brain. I'll give you the perfect example. Are you ready, everyone? If you have something in your hands, just put it on the floor. We're going to do an experiment with, with everyone. Let's, let me show you how we can manipulate your mind, OK? Here's a cool trick. I want you to, both of you to hold your hands like this. All of you, all of you, all of you, like this. Perfect. Yeah, I'm sorry. OK, OK. Now, one of your hands, the right hand, by the way, this is the right hand. This is the right hand. The right hand turned over like this. Yes, perfect. So we have one hand like this, one hand like this. Now, I know it's going to be difficult what I'm going to tell you right now, but close your eyes. Don't look at me. You're cheating. <laughs> Don't look at me. Keep, keep imagining. Now, use your imagination. Very important. Use your imagination. I want you to imagine that you're in your right hand, there's a bag of stones, pretty heavy stones. And I want you to imagine your left hand. Imagine that I'm that there's tied, like a little rope tied to a big, big bouquet of balloon, balloons with helium, you know, the ones that flies up to the helium. And suddenly, I add another balloon, and another balloon to your left hand, more balloons, more balloons, and you can feel how slowly your hands are going up, your left hand are going up, while your right hand, I'm feeling stones, more and more stones, and more and more stones, and keep thinking about it and believe in it, and imagine it, and see it's happening. So more stones to your right hand, and you will feel it. your right hand is sinking down slowly more and more, while your left hand is going up more and more and more. Keep your eyes closed, and when I tell you to open your eyes right now, you will see something amazing. Look at your hands. Ah, pretty cool, huh? Did you feel? You see, you really went like this. You put a lot of stones over there, right? It's, so our, this, is, this is how you can manipulate your, your brain very, very easily. So I told you that, that, that reality, okay, reality can create thoughts. We think according to what's happening in reality. So will thoughts create reality? This is the interesting thing. And the answer is yes. Thoughts create reality. So if you think positive, uh, good things will happen to us. And I'll explain why in a second. Something happened to me at the age 21. I've always been a performer. I'm a performer artist. I'm a stage performer. I'm not a lecturer. I, I don't know how to lecture. That's why I always start to, to think what I'm going to tell you exactly. When I was 21, I was performing. Uh, I was doing shows for um, a little bit of corporate events, conventions, uh, 100 people, maybe 300 people, uh, some... Uh, uh, in private houses, a private events, suddenly I got a phone call from someone. Hi, Lior, uh, we're doing a convention in uh, South Africa, 4,000 people, uh, big stage, screens, I'm going like, 4,000 people, I just did a show for 60 people. How the hell am I going to do a show for 4,000 people? But I said, oh, yeah, sure, no problem, yeah, I will do it, da, 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 boom. And after we finished the conversation, I said to myself, Crazy? What, 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 what? Why did you say yes to this? You're not, you're not prepared. What, why did you do it? 
then it figured out to me. I, I'm a yes man. I always say yes. I say yes, then I face the challenges. <laughs> no, really. And it's really sharpened the, the, the life as, as I know it right now. Because after I said no, no problem, and I thought to myself, what do I do? How will I do it? I was figuring out a way, how can I make this work? Okay, even today, I mean, I, I don't know how to lecture, but I figure out, let me, let me think of a lecture and I'll show you some cool stuff and I will tell you my, a little bit of, of the story of how I, uh, how I see things. Um, you know, Edison said something very, very amazing that I really love. He said, when on, the, on the way to, to invent the, the light bulb, he said, um, I, didn't, uh, uh, I didn't mistake, I didn't have mistakes, I just had 10,000, I found out 10,000 ways how not to do it. Okay, this is something that I really, really believe in. So from that day on, I say yes to anything. Then I break my head how to do it. I see the challenge in front of me, I go, I do it, no problem. And, and in the last year, last years, I, I see that I break my head less and less and less and less and less. And not because I know the challenges that I will confront and know how to uh, uh, solve, is because I know I'm gonna do it before I even do it. Okay, I know I'm going to do it before I even do it. And when I say I know, I actually mean I feel. Let's do this for a second. Um, even today, I always say yes to impossible things that happens to me. And I know I can do it because I believe in myself. And this is something very important to you. And you need to believe in yourself also. You're not going to believe, if you think positive, you're not going to believe how amazing things will happen to you right now. If you start to believe in yourself, you will not only know how to deal with challenges and crises and, and, and find solutions to stuff, you will also, not only that you will uh, find opportunities for good stuff, you will create the opportunities for yourself. Someone, I don't remember who said it, but someone once said something very cool. He said, if opportunity doesn't knock, just build the door. <laughs> right? I mean, it, it's, it's a wonderful thing. And... And we're going to try to do something very cool about, about how to manipulate mind, because let's try to do something like this. Uh, we'll get back to the 3,131,733 in a second. I'm going to draw here a circle, and we'll, let's test your, uh, let's test your uh, imagination. Okay? If you don't have good imagination, just imagine that you have one, okay? <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's do this. Let's do this. If I ask um, you to draw something inside this circle, what would you draw inside? Um, a star. A star, that's very cool. And what would you do inside? A face. A face, that's very original. <laughs> and what would you do? Um, I would draw um, a figure. A figure? Yes. Which figure? If anything. Anything? Okay, let me go again here. And what would you, what would you do? I would probably make a cricket field out of it. Okay, whatever you said. And what would you do? I draw the earth. What? The earth. Ah, really? Cool, cool, cool. What would you do? Another circle. Another circle. Okay, so everybody, and what would you do? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. So you can see, you know, I'm stressing you here, but you can see that everybody can think creatively and think of different, different things, right? Different things. What would, let me just go over there to the corner. What would you do? You. Yeah. Take your time. I get paid by the hour. What? Sorry? <laughs> Line, okay, you, have, uh, you don't tell me yours, don't tell me yours, don't tell me yours. Do you have something also? Don't tell me, don't tell me. Can you st what is your name? Surya. Surya, can you, can you join me for a second? Give him a big round of applause, let's do a, a cool test. Let's do something very cool. Let me show you how you can uh, manipulate someone's mind. You have a picture in your mind? Now let me ask you a question, it's very, very important, Surya. Come over here. And did you, did you uh, tell, tell anyone? It's not set up or something, correct? No, it's not. Okay, so take this, and I want you to look over here, and don't do anything yet, don't turn around. I'm gonna, hi, Irene. <laughs> uh, just look, look at the circle, don't do anything yet. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Mm -hmm. Okay, just look at the circle, and when I say now, you will start to do your, your, your drawing, okay? Okay? Try to be as close as possible to what you have in your mind, and don't tell me nothing. Close your eyes for a second. Some of you will know what I'm doing. Part of the influence process. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. Close. 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 Don't open it yet. Don't open it yet. Keep it closed. Keep it closed. Keep it closed. Keep it closed. When I say now, you will do your drawing. Are you ready? 
Don't start yet. I'm just gonna. Are you closing your eyes? So yeah, yeah. Keep your eyes closed. I will show you something interesting, which is very similar to something somebody said. It's something, but I will try to maybe do something like this. Okay, it's very. Is it is it uh, abstract? Is it abstract, Surya? Are you <laughs> are you hypnotized, Surya? <laughs> don't look, don't look. Keep looking over there. Keep looking over there, Surya. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. So I want you to start. You know, just a quick, quick question. We, nothing, you didn't tell me what you're going to do, right? No. And I did not tell you what to do, right? No. Okay. Can you please uh, let's see what your reaction will be? Can you please do your drawing now? Look at this. <laughs> wow. Look at this. I have, I have, one, I have one, uh, one more than you, but I think it's similar enough. Thank you, Surya. Give him a round of applause. So I told you, our brain can be manipulated. If you do the reverse, you can do it also. You can do it also. I don't know why. You, I was going over here. I don't know why. Uh, what is your name? Can you stand up? Uh, I'm just going to go and what is, uh, what is your name? Stand up. And what is your name? Stand up. Um, when he was doing this, all of you were thinking of your drawing. Were you, you were thinking of like a square or something, something like that, maybe? No? What were you thinking? Nothing? <laughs> who, who here was thinking of a square, something with a square? Nothing? You, can, you did. OK, sorry. You can sit down. And you were not thinking of a square. Uh, you were thinking, uh, hmm. can, I, can I see her on the screen? For, ah, how are you? Wave, say hello. Hi. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, it's something from your childhood, yes? Yeah, I guess. If I, you were thinking of, um, if I would ask you to draw something, you would probably go for like a teddy bear with ears and eyes and... Uh, <laughs> yes? Yes, you can sit down, you can sit down. You, what's your name again? Sorry? Thank you, thank you, Angela. Uh, you uh, would probably do something else. You were not going for this. You would do something more complicated. Uh, do, you love, uh, do you love being, uh, you know, go outside, see the nature? It's about nature, right? Can I see you for a second? Can I see you for a second on the screen? How are you? <laughs> okay. So uh, it's about nature, but it's something very specific. Because most people in the world, if they think of a flower like you did, <laughs> we do like a flower and do the leaves, but you did something else. You thought of a flower with four leaves, and then there's something in between those leaves, right? Do you know that? <laughs> How do I know that? <laughs> uh, I'm a mind reader. You can sit down. Thank you so much. <laughs> So this is very, very cool. You know what? You know what? At the beginning, at the beginning, I showed you about. I talked. I talked about um, the probability to guess something from over here. So we will try to do something. Jai, don't forget to get this after. We'll try to do something like to to finish this something with a big, big, big surprise, and we will show you something which is really impossible to do. So I will need a volunteer. Look at this. You know what? Because I guessed you're a teddy bear, can you join me for a second? Oh, you know what? You know what? No, no, no. You can sit down. You can sit down. And your friend, what is your name? Because you have glasses. Come over here. Just want to make sure you see it. And give her a big round of applause. Okay, here's, here's the test. Here's the test. Um, what is your name again? Jean. J-U-I-U-N. Jean. Jean. Okay, can you... One second. I'm just going to write it for you here. Uh, can you... Spell it for me, J. U Y U N. Julian. Okay. Um, let me just uh, look at you for a second. Uh, uh, really, teddy bear with ears, right? Okay. Um, okay. Okay. I think that's enough. And we're going to take this and we're going to, you know what? Can you? Take all the newspapers and throw them on the floor. Look how fun it is. Look how fun it is. Look, yes! <laughs> Good. 
Good, 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 good. So, we're going to do something very, very cool with the newspapers. I want you to mix them up, mix them up, mix everything up, mix all the newspapers. Mix, 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 mix. Take your time, you have 10 seconds to do that. <laughs> this is fun, huh? And whatever you want, you see this newspaper, this is from today, uh, this is from yesterday, uh, this, oh, this is interesting, this is from tomorrow, actually. <laughs> no, no, uh, I want you to pick one of them, only one of them, pick one of them. One of the newspapers, pick it up. Except this one. No, don't let me influence you. Whatever you want, just pick one. Mm hmm Ah, oh, you go for the gossips. Okay, this one, you sure? Can you join me over here, please? So this is, uh, let me ask you, was that a fair choice? Yeah. Fair choice. Can you open it anywhere you want, just anywhere you want, just? We'll try to do something very cool. Here? You sure? Around this area? Okay. So we have all the text here, right? Cool, sports. Now, let me show you some words here. Um, you see there's a name here, it says Steven, or uh, over, or I can go all the way to the right to the, oh, this is interesting, young, this is a nice word, right? Now, I'm not gonna do it, you're gonna do it. I want you to put your finger, yeah? I want you to go across, the, across it when you stop on a word, just go. Use your finger, yes, go, 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 when you wanna stop. Do, 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 do. One of the text, one of the text, yes, do, 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 do. here? Now, put your finger, put your finger, last question. Do you want that word, or you want a different word? You choose. What do you think? I want this one. This one, okay. So don't say it yet. You got it? Mm -hmm. You sure? Yeah. Okay. So, this is an interesting test that we did here. We have about um, a lot of, lot of newspapers over here. And she chose uh, one of the newspapers. Was that a fair choice? Yeah. And when you open it anywhere you want, was it a fair choice? And then I told you to move, da, 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 and you stop uh, specifically, uh, you cannot see it, but never mind, on this word, and I'm going to give you the microphone and say out loud the word that you chose. Believe. Believe. It actually says believe. Now, did you, did, you, did you choose this word because I was talking about believing, or you just randomly? Just randomly. Randomly, and you chose believe. Mm -hmm. What is the chance that I will know that you will choose this word, that you will choose this newspaper from all the newspapers, that you will open to this page, you will choose this column and choose the word believe. What is the chance? Mm. Nearly zero? No, it's exactly 3,131,738, like I did before. Really? No, because can you read what I wrote for you over there, please, out loud? Just take it, look at it, and just read it out loud, please. Believe. No, read the whole thing. GM will choose believe. Do you will choose believe? Can we can we see this? <laughs> so much mess. So no no no, stay with me, stay with me, come over here. So to conclude this, to conclude this, I do the impossible every day in my life in my professional life, in my uh, personal life. By the way, I lie to you. I lied to, I lied to all of you. Um, I didn't influence you to say believe, to, to, cho to choose believe. I knew you would choose believe. How did I know? No, 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 not because of my mind, because... Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good sense. The, run, the number that I wrote here at the beginning, 3,100,000 is actually spells believe if you turn this over. So you will hold this. You will hold this. So I do it all my life. I do it everywhere I go. I perform all over the world. And I love what I do. And I do the impossible, as I said, for two reasons. One, because it's really, really cool. <laughs> and two, to prove to all of you that you can do the same. If you... Thank you very much. Thank you. you go back. This is yours. This is yours. Thank you very much. Thank you.